So is there an ICO bubble? Uh, I have no idea if there is an ICO bubble. Um, you never know if one of these technologies is going to take off and become extremely valuable. Uh, probably what you want to do before you invest is to make sure that the, the team is really good and that they have a plan to spend the funds responsibly. Uh, this is something that's really lacking in, in, in the industry right now. Um, because right now anybody can set up a, a Bitcoin address and take funds. So there really isn't any pressure to sit down and think about how are we going to prote protect the project, um, especially from ourselves, right? Because uh, if you have unlimited options uh, for spending the money um, and you have a lot of money, you might not make the decisions uh, that are needed to focus in on what you're doing and uh, make sure the project gets finished. I've been asked uh, very recently by many different journalists, uh, what do I think about ICOs and wh where do I think this whole funding model is going? And it's a delicate topic because on one hand you have this amazing liquidity that's occurred, which is globally accessible. So you didn't have to be born in the right country and win the genetic lottery and the geographic lottery and happen to be a white kid in Silicon Valley to have access to funding. Now, all of a sudden, no matter where you're at, who you are, you have the same access to capital as everybody else. And for the first time in human history, this is the case. So that's a, that's a humongous innovation. And the larger these markets get and the more prominent they get, uh, the more liquidity we'll see. But with great power comes great responsibility, as Spider-Man likes to remind us. And what is that responsibility? Well, the faster you can get money, the easier you can get money, the more people who will get money who will misuse it. One of the exciting things about this industry is that a lot of people are trying new things. Uh, unfortunately though, if you, if you just look down and you, at, at the white paper and uh, make some notes, try to figure out what the economic model is, if you can't figure that out, then you might want to pass on that project uh, because it's a good chance that the economics just don't make any sense. Um, if they're not using uh, the key principles of the technology to make their product, that's a warning sign. If it's something that could be done with an application, a regular standard um, Silicon Valley application, then you probably don't want to invest in that. The overarching point is uh, what are these funding vehicles going to do for us? You know, what's kind of the boundary between the good and the bad, and also how can cryptocurrencies influence and change regulation to be more productive and give us a better outcome in the future. Uh, another one of the big steps in the future is going to be creating actual uh, markets for these technologies uh, or ecosystems or places where people can gravitate toward and start trading and exchanging uh, and doing the things that they want to do.